and welcome. As part of my series of videos that I'm doing to count down the release of the COD 5 Vanguard G Clan Booster Volume 3, Blessing of Divas, we'll be doing a little bit of a special unboxing today. So we'll be doing the what's inside here. This is um this is just a plastic bag. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, get it out first. You can see what's inside. Okay, here it is. Okay. Um showcase to you the image right here. Nice art. Okay. So what is this? This is the Cod Fight Vanguard Mermaid Idol Summer Set. Okay. So you can see it has the Cod Fight Vanguard logo down there. So this is kind of an old item, uh, but since some of the cards here will be useful and we'll talk about that later on, I'll be doing the unboxing for this right here. So what is this about? Well, we'll flip it around and take a look inside. Uh, it's not really inside yet, but since you can see through, you can see there are nine PR cards included here. Okay, so this is a collection of PR cards that are both reprints as well as new cards. So we get reprints and new cards in uh, and all the reprints here are in new art so very very cool okay so we can take a look at uh, what's inside uh, okay okay and also we have uh, what is this these are clear files as well so let's uh, get this open so we can take a look inside okay <clears throat> so get everything out of the packaging so you can see the PR cards come in this uh, little clear binder kind of insert. So you can use this, um, you can put this in a binder if you don't want to open them. But probably you'll be using them. So we'll take a look at the cards. First off, we have um, Dream Team Madre. So the Dream Team is a, the first legion that the Bermuda Triangle Clan received back in the day. So she's right here, this is the Great Tree of the Legion. The Legion leader. Um, the Legion mate is at the bottom, down here. You can see Dream Team Leos is down here. So why is the Legion leader so far from the Legion mate? It's because the cards are arranged by grade and power value rather than putting them accordingly. So yep. Okay, moving on to the second card and the third card. These are Costume Idol Elk and Shangri-La Star Call. Okay. So both of these were PR cards back in the day um, in the release of EB10. But here we have them reprinted in a new art. So yep, if you missed them out last time, well, here's a chance to get them. Uh, okay, after that we have Top Ida Revere, also a reprint. She was previously a Triple R from the um, EB02. So very old card and high rarity, now reprinted. A new artwork, very nice. Um, quite appropriate that they reprinted her since she has Legion support as well. Okay, if you get trolls, you can play her with trolls. Okay, after that, another reprint of a PR card previously released in EB10. This is Planet Idol Pacifica. Okay, so once again, new art for Pacifica. Okay, another EB2 card reprinted here. This is Velvet Voice Reindeer. Okay, she was previously a common, so um, kind of an up in rarity if you think about it since she is now printed in a triple R style hollow processing. So, yep, pretty cool right there. Dios, which we took a look at just now. Okay, and other two cards right here, these are brand new cards. Okay, we have um, Lawrence and Umia. Okay, so both of these are unique in the sense that we haven't received cards with these effects in the Bermuda Triangle Clan prior to this release. However, these are clones of cards that were released for other clans previously. And um, since the other clans received them in common rarity, these are kind of awkward to receive as high rarity processing, but I guess it's cool as well. Okay, so I was mentioning um, so as I was mentioning earlier, um, these cards can be used with the upcoming set, okay? So primarily, you can take a look at these right here. We have a Shangri-La Star Coral and Velvet Voice Reindeer. Both of these will get support for their builds in the upcoming set. Okay, we have a new Coral Stride and a so-called Cross Ride for Reindeer. So both of these cards are rather useful. 
as well. So that's pretty darn cool. And uh, yep, that's all we get. Okay, all these cards are, if you look carefully at them, they are printed in this um, Triple R style holo processing. Okay, very nice sparkly effect to it. It's very starry effect you can see on all of them. Not sure how well it's coming across on the camera, but yep, they are very nice. Okay, so we are done with the cards, and now we we'll take a look at the holders that we get. Okay, so we get three holders. Okay, it's just slipping files. Oh, very sticky. Okay, um, first off, we have reindeer, and the reindeer file has on the other side Pacifica. So reindeer is with Pacifica. Okay, it's just a slipping file, you can take a look and see, it's just, yep, A4 size slipping files, but opaque, so very nice. Okay, next file we have is Coral, you see the Vanguard logo is printed, okay, peel it off. We also have Coral, we have Alk right here, you can see the art. For her, okay, and finally we have a uh, Revere, whose other side we've already seen already. It's the Dream Team art, right here. So very nice. We get the full art for all the cards as well. Uh, not all of these. The main cards of the set we get them in a full art style on these um holders. So yep. It's roughly the same size as the page, so very nicely packed, just very simple. Okay, um, you're wondering what else is inside the bag? Well, nothing much really, just more of the same thing. So, yeah, since we get only one copy of each card, I recommend you doing the same thing as me get four sets of these so you can have four play sets, full play sets of all the cards in case you ever need them. And yeah, that's all for the unboxing. So, yeah, nothing much to cut over, just like that. So, the Clan Booster Volume 3 is coming out soon, and I'm very excited for it. So, look forward to my unboxing videos for those as well. So, once again, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys when Clan Booster Volume 3 releases. Bye!